God bless America. Hello, all my Patriot catfishers. Patriot James coming at you. Well, I'm doing a little DIYs today. Kentucky Catman and Justin Fishing Fetish had won some bobbers from me a while back on Patriot Catfishers of America talk show. So, uh, the ones I had, I was really not well pleased with them. These are the old ones I had. I had wires, had this old thick wire stuck through them, and I just did not like the way that they was made. So, I done a little upgrading. Finally found some pool noodles at Walmart. Actually, they just had pink and orange, and uh, I wasn't gonna send them no pink ones, so I got an orange one. That's the only one I had and I've redone it. Uh, this is the first one. You see it's made for the whisker sticks and it's got the clip on there. The only thing you've got to do is put, hold on just one second. I'll make this short and sweet. When I send a bobber to them, I'll also send them a bobber stop and a little bead to go on their line. And uh, that's the only thing extra. You have to go ahead and tie this on your line and put the go an extra bead on the line. And then you can add this bobber whenever you choose to. And you don't have this sinker slide stuck on your line the whole time waiting to add the bobber. You just, the bobber's already got the sinker slide on it. You can see it hanging right there. The bobber's already got the sinker slide on there. So the only thing you have to do is uh, when you're ready to fish, pop your whisker sticks in there, the battery in it. You see the slot already in there? You just, it's a little bit snug. I made them a little snug so you couldn't sling them off. Get in there, stick it in there like that. Push down and twist. And when you twist it, you see it's twisted in there. That battery's a little loose in that thing. It's got a, a little piece of rubber tube inside of it that locks it in place. So the only thing you have to do is pull it, pull your little clip loose. I don't know if you can see it or not. And uh, put that on your line in between your barber stop and your uh, and your knot. I mean, in your B and you're ready to catfish with a bobber. I made them bigger, just in case. I know Kentucky likes to use heavier weight wherever he is, especially if he's in a lot of current, he uses heavier weight, and I don't know what size weight Justin uses, but I made it big enough so if you throw bigger baits and bigger weights, this will keep it afloat. Uh, very simple, nice little DIY on a Patriot catfish floats but while i got you on here i'm working on one that i might i'm really thinking seriously about producing uh, and on these sinker slides i do use a heavier a heavier wire in them and you can see that's how little the hole is when you get it and i do water it out right there where you can see I can use your heavier gauge wire. Actually, I use a nail. These nails usually have a rubber grommet right here. They made for putting like tin roofs on or these uh, corrugated roofs. And it's already, it's already painted, so it will not rust. And it might be even be aluminum. I don't know, because it's a lot lighter than a regular steel nail. And I make them up. But I'm working on a different float all together. It's a DIY. I'm really thinking about producing them and maybe even selling some of them. I don't know yet. Uh, it's a killer idea, and when you see it, you're going to say, dang, I should have thought of that. But anyway, guys and gals, this is Patriot James. Wanted to bring you along to show you my remake of Patriot Catfish Bobber. God bless America, and we'll see you on the water.